Welcome. I've been printing a lot with Maker Geeks, and it was advised to me that I should try out a few different filaments, just as for comparison purposes. And I've printed with a bunch of different ones, but thought I would reach out and uh, try a few different to uh, see how it went. Stick around and uh, let's see what I did. I'm Ron, and this is my place. So I've printed a ton with Maker Geeks, and on one of the uh, live streams, I believe I was watching, I think it was Glenn over in Fun King 3D. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was actually the uh, he was at a they were he was hosting a stream that had it was like the Friday night 3D printing. Anyways, it was a group of people that were t uh, live streaming together and talking. And uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. First time I was watching it, but one of the ones on there was um, somebody from the company um, Repcorp. Um, I was interested in the filament. Uh, I did a little look see at it when I was as I was watching the stream, and it looked interesting. So I figured I'd give it a shot, and I bought some. There was like a four pack: uh, red, yellow, green, and blue on Amazon. I believe is where I got it from. Uh, not cheap, not crazy expensive. Um, comes each one individually in a pretty decent little bag, resealable, a little pack of desiccant, so nice little bag. Um, fancier spools, they look kind of neat. The uh, rep cord, so www.repcord.com. And it seemed interesting. I printed with it. I used the uh, Prusa i3 Mark III. And the only part that I thought was a little bit troublesome is, I mean, they're small rolls. I'm used to full-size rolls. And you print for a while before you have any issues with uh, running out. And this pretty much is one print. Um, decent chunk of material went into the print. But... Um, but yeah, overall it, it printed really well. It printed, it's uh, red PLA um, 210C. So it's just your standard temp for PLA. Um, yeah, it printed well. It's um, not overly brittle. It, yeah, I don't know. It laid down really nice. So what I decided to do, because I was into the uh, planters lately and I got more plants to transplant, I decided to... Uh, Make a watchtower planter. And it turned out really, really nice. Uh, tiny bit of uh, like wispy stringing in some of the windows of these. And it was a little bit across the, uh, the top of the tower. But overall, it, was, it turned out really, really nice. Beautiful. Pretty much flawless print. Um, you can see it's it's actually put you in Let's see if we can get a better view from the desk here it's just beautiful it's got the uh, funnel that comes down beautiful layers As you can see So yeah, it was a uh, it was a good print. It, I printed this on the like I said the Prusa i3 Mark III, point uh, one five I believe settings in Slick 3R Prusa edition. Um, there's some ringing going on, which I always seem to be fighting a little bit on the Mark III. Um, yet to actually get that all to go away, um, but that's all right. It's still absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so it has a, had a good first layer, and there we go. So again, that was printed with uh, Repcord Red PLA. Um, pretty good stuff. I was impressed with it. I'm not sure that it printed any better or worse than the uh, Maker Geeks. But, I mean, it printed really, really well. No complaints whatsoever, so... 
Thank you much, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll have to see some more. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video. If you didn't like the video, feel free to hit the thumbs down one. But yeah, nobody likes to hit that. But if you do, please actually leave comments down below so I can find out what we need to do better. So hopefully the sound's all working better. And I also been messing with thumbnails. Uh, you may or may not have noticed um, to try and hit that magic thousand number that everybody seems to be going for right about now. Um, anyways, thanks for sticking around and have a great day and print everything you can.